Hello, Steve Mills here. So this video is all about how to uh, produce a blog post. Now, I'm going to take it right from the beginning, and I'm going to talk to you about how to do that. And I want to be really clear um, that this is uh, literally a nuts and bolts, you know, do this, do that, and, and this is how it's done. So I'm going to, if I may, share my screen so I can physically show you as well as talk to you about it. So uh, just bear with me a second. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So, um, just, just again, uh, from a real elementary point of view, uh, what is a blog? A blog is actually a weblog. Uh, it comes from the idea of having a an online diary. In truth, they use uh, quite differently now, and and actually they used as a a way of providing information out uh, often to your market, to the people who'd be interested in, in you. Uh, but they can also be used from a, an SEO point of view, a search engine optimization point of view. So you can see this uh, post here, it literally went up just a couple of days ago, and it's called How to Pay More Tax. Now, all right, that's a little bit of a, an un unusual title, but if I wanted to appear on Google under how to pay more tax, uh, then I could do that there uh, using that blog post. If I just come down to how to double your business, get rid of the six months, we don't necessarily need that. But how to double your business, uh, that could also be a keyword that I'd use uh, in order to do exactly that. Sales and marketing results, um, you know, that could again be a, a search term. So there are always pretty much, you know, uh, business advisor, that would be the search term out of that. Um, business growth tactics would be the search uh, out of that. So out of each element, you know, marketing budget, would again be where I'd be looking to be found uh, using my blog strategy. So all that said, let me just talk to you about how to do it. So there are two ways using WordPress, because I use WordPress. Now, if you don't use WordPress, on one hand, I'd say this is not quite as relevant for you. But on the second uh, side, I'd say, do you know what? Yours is probably not a million miles different to what I'm going to show you anyway. It's probably very similar. So if I want to produce a blog post, the first thing I need to do is obviously be logged in. So I've gone in here, I've gone into my website, and I'm now logged in. I can tell that because of that black line at the top there. Um, I can then go and edit any, any page I'm on. But for now, I want to add a blog post. Now, a blog post, unsurprisingly, is called a post. You've got various pages down here. You've got posts, media. Uh, uh, page, which is a normal web page. You've then got a landing page. You've got templates, team page, portfolio testimonials, and so on and so forth. But we're going to use a post here. So that is what I'd press. Now, there is another way of doing this because I want to make sure you're clear on both counts. If I go into my WordPress here by pressing the W there and then opening this up, I can get into what is the back end of my website, my WordPress site, and I can go to posts and I can go and have a look at all my blog posts. So I can see this is a list of, you saw that one, how to pay more tax and so on and so forth. So this is a list of all my blog posts that I've got here. Now, if I want to do a new one, uh, what do I do? Well, I just simply press add new. How easy is that? So I go in here to add new, or again, I can go to the top and do new post, uh, but the easiest way would be add new, or I can even do it there. So I've got three potential places. Now, once I'm in there, 
It should open up. Yeah, there we go. Any second, a uh, blog post. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a video, which is actually from uh, YouTube, one of my YouTube videos, and I'm going to turn it into a blog post. So this is how I would do it. So I go in here and I've got a, a, a recording here of a LinkedIn live session that I did, I think it's last week sometime, uh, called 10 Ways to Increase Sales, okay? So what I'm going to do straight away is I'm going to take the URL from the top here, and I'm going to edit that. I'm going to go into copy, and then I'm going to go back into my website. Now, before I uh, do anything, what I'm going to do is just make sure I remember 10 ways to increase sales. Okay, so I'm going to write that down as the title. 10 ways to increase sales. So I've not forgot the title. And then I'm going to write some text. So I'll just write a little bit of gobbledygook there to start with. And then I'm going to add my um, video. So all I do, really simple this, is just paste it. Let's give it a few moments. Hey, presto, it's there. How cool is that? Really, really cool, I think. So that's great, but I don't just want a load of words here. I want to tell people a little bit about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mosey on over, if that's a saying that you know, uh, over to chat GPT, and I'm going to see if I can find Some words that I did recently about that. I'm not sure I can. No, I can't. So I'm going to tr try and do some more words. Uh, right. Um, Okay, so write an introduction to a blog post called 10 Ways to Increase Sales. So let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Here we go. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take that. Nice and easy. Go into copy. Go back into my website here. And then I'm going to paste that into here okay okay so we'll get rid of that probably bring that up there bring that up there i'm going to make this one bigger the introduction there we go nice big headline um in an ever-evolving sense of uh, just reading this through I, I generally, I try and change this just a little bit so it's not just, you know, automatic copy, as it were, from chat GPT. If you know, the next uh, take, take a look at the recording of my results mastery live talk on 10 years of, of increasing sales okay so i've written an introduction i've written a an action point. I'm getting people to do that. Uh, take a look at. I'm going to make that bigger as well because I want that to stand out too. Take a look at the recording of my results mastery live talk on the 10 ways of increasing sales. Okay. So uh, so that's that. Uh, that's almost done. One other thing I like to do 
on the end, and I'll explain why in a couple of minutes. Let me just try and find something. Um, it's here somewhere. Is that it? No, that's not it. Maybe it's here. No, sorry, I'm just not prepared this very well, but I'm just looking for something here that I need to show you. It's here somewhere. I know it is. I'll close that down. I don't need that to open. Oh, I thought it was here. Okay. <laughs> There. Ah, that's what I was after, this. So this goes on to the end of every one of my blog posts. Now, the reason behind this is that Google likes to have links, both what it calls internal links, so an internal link is a link to another page on my website. So you can see that there to my university is another internal link. That's uh, another one. That's to my results mastery. Another one is to the recommended pages. So I've got three links there to internal pages. And I've got one, two, three, four, five links to external pages as well. So I'm going to take that and I, again, I'm going to copy and I'm going back to my website and uh, I'm going to say something like, I hope you enjoyed the video. And then underneath, I'm just going to place that. There we go. To find out more from me, it's not happy with that for some reason. And let's get rid of that. And to subscribe to my stuff, that's the technical word I use. Uh, subscribe to my stuff. There's loads of links there that you can uh, you can use. I then go and um, save that. Uh, but before I do, what I want to do is do a little bit of SEO. Now, I use this system here, uh, A-I-O-S-E-O. -E you see that there in the top right-hand corner? Now, what this does very cleverly, it tells me how well I'm doing. So I click on it and I go to general and it opens up and tells me, how well my SEO is going. And apparently I've got two basic errors. So what are they? Well, one is that the meta description is too long. And the second is that content, there's not enough words in there, which I, to be honest, I knew about both of those things. In addition, it's also saying in the title, the SEO length, length is a little bit too short. So let's go and have a look at those, shall we, and see what we can do about them. So what we do is we scroll down, down here, okay, and we go to the, firstly, the meta description. Now, let me just tell you what the meta description is. So if I type in marketing advice into Google, the meta description is the black bit here. It's that bit underneath the uh, SEO headline that people read, okay? So it's really, really important because all these businesses here want me to click on their advert. So should I click here, 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 or here? So the most important thing is the headline, and then underneath that, is the meta description. So what do I want to do? I want to go back here. At the moment, it's got the whole article is actually in there, which is clearly a mistake because I only need 160 letters. So I'm going to get rid of that first. So I've now got no letters and I'm going to, I'm going to take some 
letters. I'm going to actually take these. Why am I taking this? Because this has got my keyword when I set it up, which I will do in a minute within it, which is 10 ways of increasing sales. I'm going to get rid of those mark, uh, those little things there. And I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to copy and paste that into there. So again, I'm going to get rid of that there and there. Now, uh, I've, I've only got 96 here, so I need to do a little bit more work. So I'm going to say um, a video and blog post by Steve Mills. live on LinkedIn, because that's where it was live. Okay. No, actually, it's YouTube, this particular link. So, so we'll change it to YouTube. Full stop in there. So we're not bad now. We've got 151 letters out of 160 uh, that we're allowed. So that's pretty good. Um, the headline there is that 10 ways to increase sales, which fits with what I, I wanted. Um, the post title, which again comes back to this, the the words here is again a little bit short, isn't it? It's got 39. So I might just. I might just change that a little bit. Might stick that back in there. What's that? Get? Oh, it's given me too many. So uh, I could get rid. Just get rid of that. Recording. Oh. Recording of my results mastery talk. Um, still a little bit too big. So hyphen. Anyways increase sales what am i going to do to get this even shorter of my live talk <laughs> okay that'll do it live talk 10 ways of increasing sales 56 perfect okay so you have to be you know it takes a little bit of effort it's not easy uh i'm then going to stick that back in there i'm going to get rid of all this I'm just going to use the keyword that I suggested there. Now, look at this. See this here? My results are up at 91%. So it's 91% pretty perfect. Yeah. Now, the only thing I need to do, as you can see here, is to increase the number of words. I'm not going to do that now in front of you because you don't really need to see me doing that. But hopefully... This has given you a good idea of what you should be doing in terms of your SEO and how you can uh, upload blog posts into um, uh, into your WordPress site. Now, there's one other thing I want to show you here. Let me just uh, flip over to, I think it's here. Uh, let me just have a look. Is it here? Uh, Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put my name on it because I did it. Um, it no, there's actually t uh, probably three things I need to show you. Firstly, you you can categorize. <laughs> excuse me. You can categorize your blog. I'll show you what that looks like when I go back into the website. But I can say, what is this about? So it's um, it's all about 10 ways of increasing sales. So it's not a branding thing, possibly not a... a um, you know, a coaching thing. So what is it? I'm going to say it's marketing advice. And I could put it under marketing and advertising, maybe, or great, maybe great sales tip. Let's put it under that. And then I'm going to tag it. So this is a way of getting it found a little bit easier on Google. So again, I'm going to put it under marketing advice. I'm going to put it under sales and marketing training. And I'm going to put it on uh, marketing training as well. OK, so that's that. And then the last thing is to upload a, um, a, a banner, 
for the uh, actual um, blog. So uh, what this looks like is to go in here and assuming you've already got one of these, um, you can use that. If you haven't, you'll need to use probably something like Canva to design and develop one. Uh, but I'm just going to use, uh, I'm just going to try something for now and, and just use that. And then you'll be able to see what that looks like. So if I go into set feature image uh, and then, sorry, one more thing here. Uh, you, you can leave it like this. See this here, post slider settings. So, so the blog post will take the full width of the page, or you can have a banner, uh, sorry, not a banner, a column running down the left or a column running down the right. I always have a column running down the right, and I'll show you why in a couple of minutes. So that's that. Uh, reasonably happy with this. I will go back and see if I can get it up to 100 by adding some more words. But other than that, I think I've done a pretty good job uh, and hopefully you can do the same. So I'm going to publish it. Just take a few seconds just to buffer. There we go. And then we can view the post. Let's have a look at what it actually looks like. There we go. So that's the banner from the top. Uh, this is the uh, column down the right hand side. So you can see why I said I like to do that, where you've got that column coming down the right hand side. These are the categories that you can put things in. So if you're looking down here and you go, ah, oh, let's have a look at Steve's posts, uh, uh, blog posts to do with business mindset or is digital marketing posts and so on and so forth. So uh, I've got quite a few there, uh, which you can uh, look at. Uh, and then you've got the link to the video so people can actually watch the video, albeit on YouTube, actually on my website, which is really cool because I don't really want them to leave my website. There's all the links that people might go, oh, right, let's do this. Let's go and find more information about Steve here. So um, so that's it, really. That's all I've got to show you. I hope that was of value and uh, look forward to speaking to you again on the next video. Thanks for listening.